gaffer, first day back of pre-season, how are you feeling? Yeah, good, listen, I think, um, you know, your first day back's always a little bit, you know, getting the lads into it and what they need to do and how they're doing it, but again, listen, a lot of them have come back, well, all of them have come back super fit, uh, they had the pro programme through John, uh, and they're all in good condition, so fair play, um, they do do a bit of running the first day or two, and you know, obviously this afternoon we'll get some balls out and integrate a little bit of running with footballs, but no luck of uh, fair play to the boys, they'll come back in good condition. We've obviously had to separate the groups because of the COVID regulations and things like that. Um, can you tell me how difficult it's been to prepare a pre-season, particularly when you yeah. find out on Friday when the season starts? Yeah, do you know what? It, it has been tough, but listen, we've got a good group of staff. We've got good people here who, who we just scenario plan right the way through. We've changed the plans of you know, pre-season before we thought we were going to come back and play. Um, games, training schedules, in eights, nines, sixes, whatever it may be, two groups. So, you know what, fair play to the staff. We've had our heads around it, we've done it. Fair play to the players as well that took on board. And again, as, you, as you've seen, it's just, you know, groups of eight at the moment and then, you know, now they've gone off the last group to get some lunch and then they'll go and get showered and change, fresh kick, come back. Uh, obviously, no one's in around the ground, they're going straight home in the cars, getting showered, they all only live 10 minutes if that, away from the ground and then, you know, just get back to work, I think. Old school, innit? I think years ago, you used to just get out the car and go and train, I think that's what it is, but we've made sure we've got all the medical stuff right, made sure if any of the lads need anything, we've got obviously tents up for the, for the medical team to look after the boys if they need strappings or whatever they need, so, difficult, a little bit, yeah, but look, you just you just plan, and, and you know what, when you've got a good group of staff and a good group of players, it, it just rolls into being nice and easy. You've um... You've obviously had your plans for a while, but you've not been able to get back on pitch and, and, and actually enact them. Now, with a, a season date, start date in mind, you've obviously got your transfer plans too. Uh, how How's that looking? At the yeah, good, yeah. Um, as I say, we, we keep it in house, we keep it nice and tight, but again, we, 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 will, have, we will have games, but again, it, you know, unfortunately, that you know, they're probably going to, well, they are going to be behind closed doors, no fans, which is a bit disappointing, but again, what we've got to do in this pre season now, we've just got to make sure we get the best competitive squad we, we, we can get, uh, which I'm sure we will, we're already on with that now and further down the line and hopefully get some news in the next few days, but in terms of the games, from a selfish point of view with, with me, me staff and the players, it's just about getting games and minutes into the lads' legs so when the season does start they're ready. Yeah, unselfishly we'd like the fans to be here but that can't happen at this moment in time, um, so all we've got to do is just got to plan selfishly that we make sure that we have our squad of 18, 19, 20, whatever it may be, all fit and ready to go for the 12th of, August, 12th of September. And in terms of kind of getting to that point, you talked about having games and, and, and stuff in the pipeline, but organising those have been, a, I guess, a little bit of a challenge, not knowing when the season starts. How are you progressing with a fixture list? Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're, again, we've, we've, uh, we've changed the fixture list a million times, and you know we had things planned and games at home park and training games, but... One thing we've got, we've got some good connections. You know, we may take the lads uh, to a training camp in, in England somewhere for for a week or so, and you know, get some games wherever they are. But I think we have to stick to like the DFL rules and regulations that we can only play teams who are potentially being tested, and you know, we know the the COVID free. So it, it's been a, it's been a task, but it's a learning curve, isn't it? It's it's good for everyone, and you know, people say, "Oh, it's the new normal." I, I hope it's not <laughs> really. I hope parts of it can be. You know, there's been a lot of good things happening in the communities and in, up and down the countries but in terms of football and ways we've just got to make sure we do everything pristine to make sure that we've got a fully fit squad and a competitive squad to start the campaign. I know it's day one so perhaps not that easy to, to get a good read but how's how's the squad adapting to the new challenges and are they, all, they all come back in good spirits and fit? Yeah as I said before you know Dan I, th I think that the group we've got you know, a majority of them all from last season. They're a good group. They're a good, good set of lads. And you know, there's times when we've had to change the schedules and told them late and gone right. We can't do this today. We thought we were going to get tested today. We're not. We're going to get tested Wednesday now. And they've gone. When are we getting tested? Because to build up in it, you think I'm not looking forward to getting tested. A big needle up my nose and we throttle. I'll be honest with you. And I don't think the lads are. So, and then we have to scenario plan again. And you're like, yeah, this could happen or that could happen. And you know what? They've, they've took it with a pinch of salt. They've been good as gold. Uh, anything we ask them to do, they do. There's never a moan up. Yeah, and we've said the first week's probably going to be a tough week until we can get back to full contact and have the group together because we're a tight group, as you well know, with the staff and the players. And you know, we, we can't really give as many high fives as we like and hugs and whatever else because we have to stick to the regulations. But as I said, the, the boys have been different class, they've come back in good condition, and, and now we've got six or seven weeks to, to prepare. And finally, you touched on it a little bit there, but kind of um, the community uh, side of things in terms of 
playing games that, that we usually go to places like Parkway and yeah. a big opportunity for those clubs to make money. Obviously, we can't do things like that this year. Do you have a message for sort of the supporters at, the, at this point in time? Yeah, well, the message is just you know persevere. I know, like, you know, I've, I've, I've spoke to a few, a lot of supporters now since I've been back down, and you know they're, they're all chopping at the bit to get back to their own park, and yet they probably do want to see. Uh, the players and you know, give them a round of applause for what they've done and celebrations. But we we, we will we will have something planned. Uh, but be patient. You know we've got to stick to the rules, the government rules and the FL rules first and foremost. And as I say, it'll be it'll fly by. I think the four months we've sort of been away since Mar March the seventh, is it? Four months or so. It, it, although the first month was a bit of a drag because you want to get back to football. But you've seen how quick it's come round now. So again, we just want them to be patient. They're still there for us. They still know that. You know, we, we know that they're going to support us through thick and thin. They know that my group of players and new recruits and, and the way we're going to play, we're going to give a right good go. Uh, so it's something to look forward to. Um, again, you know, just be patient and, and wait for that time when we can get the nod to get into the, to their own park. I think we all look forward to that. Thank you. Cheers, no problem.